Okay, so we are looking for electromagnetic radiation bands in order of increasing wavelength. So let's just put on our list and we know that they start really small and then the wavelength gets bigger. Okay, so up the very, very top we've got radio. Then the very, very bottom we've got gamma. We've got our visible somewhere in here. And we've got our infrared past the visible and we've got our UV going down from the visible and x-rays in here. Okay, so uh, we need to finish with radio. Basically, we're looking for increasing wavelength. So these two are still in the running. These ones are out. And then we just look at our list. So we're looking for increasing. So ultraviolet visible infrared. And up to radio. This one works. That's the answer. Which of the following states that electrons fill orbitals in order of increasing energy? That is the building up principle or Aufbau. No real option here, it's a straight KU. Hund is your multiple, um, maximum multiplicity. So that should go parallel before you pair. And poly exclusion is the fact you can't have any one, two electrons in one atom with the same four principal quantum numbers and the valency shell electron pair repulsion theory has got nothing to do with this, it's all to do with shape. Okay, so we've got a picture of the periodic table and one area is marked X, moving across area X from one element to the next, the extra electron usually occupies an orbital of type, it's a very strange question, it's just D. Here's your S, here's your P and here's your F. Okay, so we're looking for a molecule with three atoms in a straight line. So basically we either need a linear formation or we need a um, trigonal bipyramidal because that will give you three in this line, um, the ones to the corner are not, or we need an octahedral because that gives you three in a line for the up and down bit and also for the across the way. Um, so you can go through these and work out what's going on. Okay, so we have here trigonal planar. No, oh, that's not how you spell trigonal. There we go. Uh, planar. So that's the, just this section in the middle of this one, not three in a line, because these are off um, centre, as it were. Um, this is tetrahedral. Same issue. Your carbon, in this case, is in, in the centre here. And then we've got our for uh, projecting away at 109.5, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is just nonlinear, okay, because we've got our oxygen and our hydrogen to either side, and this, however, is this, so D. Right, so we are looking to name a complex ion. So your first bit is not helpful to you because they've not given any difference and they, we all agree with that, okay? Hexa, cyano. You're like, yep, because I have six of these groups attached to the whole thing, okay? And then they're giving you an option of either copper or cuprate, right? So this is inside here. It's part of the ligand set. So we're going to go for cuprate and then we have to figure out the charge. Now the charge you have to be able to do your little sum. So we've got copper, plus we've got six of your sinos, which if you go to your data book, that's minus one equals minus four. So what we have here is copper minus six equals minus four. So copper equals minus four plus six equals plus two. So 